people who follow Riri books. Um, today I'm reviewing a novel that I did not like so much. So if you did like Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, you probably shouldn't watch this. I have read this book this month and it was one of the worst novels I've read in a while. First I'm going to tell you what I liked about this book. I think it was um, pretty much well written. There were some scenes that were really really beautiful and I loved those scenes. I think um, April Genevieve Duhok or something, I don't, can't pronounce this. She definitely has the ability to write something great, something that moves people, something really amazing. She definitely has that ability, she, she just doesn't use it all the time. And then there was the ending. Oh my god, it was so action-packed and so, wow, just really, really good. I, I loved it. Uh, it's just that it was only the last 50 pages or something and this novel has more pages. So Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea is supposed to be a kind of gothic story. Like gothic urban fantasy story. I think the idea is pretty great to write something like this, but if you want to read something like this, you should definitely pick up something like The Space Between or Anna Dressed in Blood or something like this, or I don't know, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, something like this, and not just Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. I'm gonna tell you why, because <laughs> the main character Seriously, it's just like reading a gothic story of Twilight. And I know, I hate people who always compare books to Twilight, I really do, but this... Violet lives in um, a big house that she inherited from from like her grand 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 I don't know something parents. Um, her parents are gone all the time, they just they live in Europe or something um, and she lives there with her twin brother and they both are under age so this doesn't make sense at all there's no adult in this house all the time and then there is the part where it's get really strange they don't have any money left because their parents didn't send enough or something like this I just I don't know um, and then they just say okay we have to put up the guest house that they have up for rent and they just take the first stranger that comes to the house and they just say okay here have it I don't want to see your passport or I don't know something ID <sighs> she just says oh my god this guy looks really good and oh my god he's wow cool and she doesn't even ask if he's like an adult if he's over 18 she, she just doesn't and he says something like oh you're 17 that's about my age and she just goes oh cool he's my age you can't just I don't know how things are in the US but here you can't just let a child rent something and he just pays in cash $500 and I just think Wow, where did he get this money from? I, I, I don't know. And then she, she actually asks him why he's there. And he, he tells her where he gets the money. That, he, that her, he's supposed to live with his uncle. And he just doesn't want to. So he lives there in the guest house. Whatever, the uncle do never shows up, obviously. Because he's lying, obviously. But she doesn't get it because she's Violet. So Violet um, likes to read books. Not just books, she likes to read. Um, she doesn't read any book in this novel. She just reads short stories by Nathaniel Hawthorne or I don't know. <laughs> intellectual stuff because she's so intellectual. I think the only thing that's, that's not like Twilight is that there's no school in this book. And I don't really get why. Are they like, is this like summer? I don't know. Do they have like a pause or something? Because she's 17, she's supposed to do something. 
who's just sitting in this house. And the, the money, oh my god, there's the scene when she's, she, her friend, Sunshine, because she's not really a friend, she, she just isn't. Um, it, she, she asks her, why don't you get a job? And she says some, something like, I can't because I'm mobility and we can't just work like normal people do. And I'm not really sure if this is ironic, but if it is, you should have like mentioned something. I, I don't know. I didn't get it. I didn't get the irony. I just didn't. I'm, it's like if she, she would describe why she did, doesn't get a job after she makes that joke. Then probably I would have thought, oh yeah, this is this is, a, this is funny, <laughs> but she didn't. She just says, I can't, I'm an ability. <laughs> huh? And she's the typical unexperienced, shy kind of person. And she, oh, the best part, she wears the clothes from her dad, grandmother, even her night gone. Like, this isn't creepy or strange or anything. And then her brother, she totally hates her brother because she's, he's so mean. Oh, poor Violet. I don't care. She is strange. And he's just telling her, you are strange, my dear sister. But he's not like, I'm going to throw you out the house and burn you or something. Please, Violet, why don't you just be normal? Exactly what I was thinking. And then there comes this guy, River. And River... But, well, he's totally into her, and he likes the same stuff that she likes, and they go picnic and watch old black and white movies, and they are totally into this. And I'm thinking, yeah, good for you. And then there's this whole stuff that's coming up with River, and it turns out that he's a really mean person. He's making small children see, like, really bad things, and they get really scared, and he's he likes this. This is fun for him. And then there is this Oh my god, the per perfect scene. I know I'm, I'm probably just spoiling all over the place, but um, he's making this guy kill himself in the middle of the town where there are small children at this moment that who have to see this. They are probably traumatized for their lives. And he just makes him flit his throat and he just bloods all over the place and then he's dead. <laughs> and he has a son! That's the best part! He has a son and the son just gets adopted by Violet. <laughs> he just lives there in the house with them. This is so strange! And I know this is fiction, I know. And it's fantasy, so not everything has to be realistic. But... This is the part that needs to be realistic. Like, there are some parts who need to be realistic. Seriously, there are. And then there is her writing. Oh, I just, I know this is one of the plus points, but it's also one of the down points because there are these, these scenes where she just, she has to tell the reader everything. She thinks the readers are just dumb people. For example, they are having a really, really serious discussion. I think there was, this was even the discussion where they talked about him making that guy kill himself. She writes, he was making a funny face. And then she has to describe that she doesn't mean in a like fun way, but in a strange way. Like funny face, like... I don't know how a funny face goes. Um, that was obvious. It's like, he comes to her, and he first meets her, and he says something like, Wow, this is a big house for a blonde reading girl. And I think, wow. Well, just for blonde reading girls. Any other girls, this house is just perfect. This falling instantly in love with someone. She just sees him, and then BAM, she's in love with him. And she's just, the first night or something, she sleeps together with him. Not, not just in this way, but they sleep arm in arm after meeting him a few hours ago or something. She just continues to do that. She just, every evening, she just gets into his bed and sleeps there. Because um, it's making his nightmares go away. Yeah, yeah, no, just no. He's a stranger. You, you don't do that. You don't. 
So have you read Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea? And what did you think? Did you like it as much as I did? <laughs> I just want people to tell me why they like it so much because maybe then I get it or something.